Hi there. <laughs> love my dramatic intro. Anybody else here love plaid shirts like I do? I'm not much of a person that gravitates towards patterns, but when I do, it's usually plaid. So I'm going to show you guys five different ways to style a plaid button up shirt for the fall. So I love plaid print because I feel like it's always a staple in fall wardrobes. I personally don't think it will ever go out of style. And even if it does, I'm still going to keep buying it because that's how much I love it. So I thought it would be interesting to show you guys five different ways that you can style a plaid button up for the fall. I'm going to show you a few different ways that hopefully you haven't seen before or haven't thought of before so you can experiment with your own closet. So let me bring out the star of today's video. It's a neutral colored, of course, plaid button up. This one has a slight balloon sleeve, but the sleeves don't matter. You can replicate the outfit with any type of sleeve that you want, but it's beige with a black and white plaid print. So this is from Nasty Gal. I got it on sale like a year ago. Um, oh my God, I thought there was a stain on it. <laughs> but there isn't. I was like, how did that get there? Um, so I will be incorporating this into each of the outfits today. And of course, you could always replicate it with any color um, plaid print shirt that you want. So let's get it started. <laughs> So for this first outfit, I paired my plaid shirt with a pleated midi skirt. And then to add some pizzazz and a little bit of interest to this outfit, I paired it with some sheer polka dot stockings and ankle boots, as well as a snake print belt around my waist. And if you notice, it's the same color or color palette rather as my plaid shirt. So I think it makes it a little bit more interesting and, but I loved how this looked. It looks very elegant. This with a long trench coat on top, oof, beautiful. And of course, you could also pair this instead of with a pleated midi skirt, it would also look nice with a satin maxi or midi skirt that isn't necessarily pleated or any type of skirt that is long and flowy. Um, I just think it makes it look a little bit more elevated. Now this one's a little bit more simpler, but I still think it looks very elegant. I paired some high-waisted straight leg denim jeans, like in a darker wash with a tan blazer, a little bit oversized, and it kind of, again, matches the same color as this plaid button-up that I'm wearing. And I paired it with some nude pumps, which has a little bit of a golden heel, if you could see, just for a little bit of bam <laughs> in the outfit. So this also looks very put together. I like it. Um, you could also pair this. I think this outfit would look really nice with straight leg or wide leg pants or trousers too. Oof, I can imagine like a monochrome look if I had tan pants that matched the blazer. Oh my God, I love monochrome so much. But yes, that could also work. <laughs> Okay, can I just say how much I love this look? I really like it. It's very casual, uh, loose fitted, comfy, maybe a little bit androgynous as well, but I'm loving it. I'm wearing some black chino pants and of course, 
not a video of mine if I have not included a turtleneck in here. So there you go. There's my turtleneck outfit. <laughs> and I layered the button-up plaid shirt over it and I left it unbuttoned at the top and did like a loose tuck so it has a baggy look to it and then I paired my ankle boots with it as well. I really love it. I'm not like I'm not kidding. I'm obsessed with this outfit guys. This would also look really nice with a black plaid button up for again a more monochrome look or a colorful plaid shirt to add a pop of color. And now my inner rocker slash grunge girl has come out. <laughs> if you can't tell by whatever the heck I was doing over there with my head. Um, but I paired the button up this time. I left it unbuttoned, so I'm kind of using it like a jacket with some high-waisted leather pants and some over-the-knee leather boots as well. And then I tucked in an oversized black tee. This would also look nice with a graphic tee as well. So to make it a little bit more casual, even though I think this is already a pretty casual look, you could also replace the loose fitted t-shirt with a crop top or you can tie it up in a knot similarly to how I did it here. I like it. I think this is nice to to go out, run errands, go to a coffee date. Like I'm I'm loving this rocker vibe. Okay, so I saved the best for last, or at least in my opinion, this one's the best outfit. I just kind of threw this together and I just loved the way it looked. If you want to be sexy and comfortable at the same time, then here you go. This is the outfit for you. <laughs> so I paired a black mini skirt with over the knee lace up tan boots, which I'm obsessed with. And then for some added coziness, I layered on a chunky long line black cardigan. And I'm wearing the button up loose and untucked, but you could also tie it up like I did to the left if you want something a little bit more fitted. I love this look. It really does look effortlessly chic. Like you just threw it on, but it still looks awesome. You know what I mean? Also, do you guys like my hairstyle in this video? I honestly just put it up because I was sweating and hot, so that's really the reason. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you found some interesting new ways to style your plaid shirts. Of course, I would love to hear your feedback. You can leave comments below, let me know what you thought. If you have any other interesting ideas of how to style a plaid shirt, I'd be curious to know. And then guys, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm so awkward. Um, and of course, there's always more videos to watch on the channel too. So thanks for watching guys. Love you and see you next time.